the MGHS mid-sized SUV. More space, more safety tech with MG Pilot, and more peace of mind. All from only $29,990 drive away. The MGHS, it's the more you've been looking for. Townsville's hit 103.1. If you can save 5K, you can be in a home today. Mademan.com.au. T's and C's apply. Hit News Briefing. Hello, it's Matt Layton with you. The Shadow Treasurer is slamming the Albanese government's superannuation tweaks as a broken election promise. Canberra is considering changing tax breaks on super accounts, which are holding more than $3 million. Angus Taylor has told Sky News superannuation shouldn't be used to prop up federal coffers. Labor promised that they weren't going to change the goal based on super. Uh, the Prime Minister was unambiguous on that, absolutely unambiguous on that. And now he wants to change the rules. Uh, this is Australians' money. Uh, that should be the starting point. Of course, Labor starts from a different point of view, which is that it's their money. Australia's closest neighbour has been rocked by a magnitude 6.2 earthquake. It struck Papua New Guinea's New Britain province at a depth of 57 kilometres. There is no tsunami threat to Australia. A teenager's been charged over a man stabbing death during a fight at Roselands in Sydney's southwest. The 17-year-old was discharged from hospital yesterday following the deadly brawl on Thursday night. He's been charged with a fray and hindering the investigation of a serious indictable offence of another. And preparations are underway for today's state memorial service for Aussie icon Olivia Newton-John. Close friend Richard Wilkins has told Channel 9 she'll be remembered as a force for good. She had the idea 20 years ago to create this hospital where people on a cancer journey could have acupuncture, could have massage, could have undergo music therapy, art therapy. This was ahead of its time. Beyond Blue is here to help you achieve your best possible mental health. For more information, advice and support, visit beyondblue.org.au today. Cam Green's overcome that finger injury and is hitting the nets ahead of the third test against India beginning Wednesday. Meanwhile, Travis Head has addressed his sensational omission from the first test. He admits talks with selectors were robust, but he's keen to maintain his aggressive approach as an opener. I've come with the approach of I want to attack first and defend second and I think when I do that in my game naturally I found that in Australia that when I've looked to attack my, my feet move better. I'm in better and Australia takes on South Africa tonight in the shower for Townsville today and a top of 31 degrees, cloudy to start your week and a max of 31 then too. And it's the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes. Search the briefing podcast on Listener. Download the app now and listen for free.